Assalamu alaikum students I hope you will be fine Open your books page number 15 unit number 2 The Ransom of Red Chief There are some words to know Exceed to agree to a demand a request Buggy here a horse drawn car counter proposition an offer made as an alternative to a previous one for clause to take back a property that was bought with borrowed money because that money is not being paid back as agreed mortgage a loan usually taken when buying property prominent important well known provisions food drink and equipment scout a soldier or other person sent out to investigate in secret subjugation to be brought under complete control conquered surreptitiously without being noticed secretly treachery betrayal of trust first of all we'll discuss the main theme of this story The theme of a story is its main point that the author is trying to convey to a reader one of the themes from this story involves the danger of trying to take the easy way out. Bill and Sam needed just $2000 more to pull off a Fredolin town lot scheme in western Illinois with working hard instead of running scam pro- probably. Never occurred to these two but as it turns out kidnapping is not an easy as they imagined it to be the wild child that they decide to take ends up being hard if not possible to handle in the end they must pay the boy's father to take him off their hands after a few days of babysitting johnny bill and sam end up backwards financially perhaps there is no easy way to financial success Now story This is a story about a kidnapping in which kidnappers get more than they bargained for We were down south in Alabama Bill Driscoll and myself when this kidnapping idea struck us Bill and me had about $600 and we needed just $2000 more to buy some land in western Illinois We figured that family love is strong guest in semi rural communities and decided to do our kidnapping in Summit, a small town. We selected for our victim the only child of a prominent citizen named Ebenezer Dorset. Mr. Dorset was known for his wealth which he made from lending mortgage and making for clausers the kid was a boy of 10 with freckles freckles mean patches of light brown color on the skin and bright red hair bill and me figured that abinezo would agree to pay a ransom of $2000 but wait till i tell you what happened about 2 miles from summit was a little tree covered mountain on the rear slope of this mountain was a cave there we stored provisions one evening we drove in a buggy past old dosets house the kid was in the street throwing rocks at the kitten on the opposite fence hey says bill would you like some candy the boy threw a piece of brick at bill's head That boy put up a fight but eventually we got him in the buggy and drove up to the cave. After dark I drove the buggy back to the village. I had hired it in and walked back. Bill was examining and treating the scratches and bruises on his face and legs. There was a fire burning in the cave and the boy was sitting by it with two buzzards. tail feathers stuck in his red hair he points a stick at me and says buzzard means vultures ha cursed pale face do you dare to enter our chief's camp he's all right now says bill we are playing red indian i'm old hank red chief's captive and i'm to be scalped at daybreak 
ouch that kid can kick hard the boy seemed very happy the fun of camping out had made him forget that he was a captive he immediately named me snake eye the spy and announced that i was to meet my end the next day then we had supper supper meal a light evening meal and he filled his mouth full of meat bread and gravy and talked his speech went something like this i never camped out before it's fun but i had a pet once and i was nine last birthday are there any real red indians in these woods i want some more gravy do the moving trees make the wind blow we had five puppies what makes you know so red hank my father has lots of money are the stars hot do oxen make any noise why are oranges round a parrot can talk but a monkey or a fish can't every few minutes he would remember that he was red indian and would let out a war whoop that made old hank shivo the boy had been terrorized from the start i say kid would you like to go home oh what for says he i don't have any fun at home i had school i like camping you won't take me home snake i will you not right away says ye says he i never had such fun in all my life at about 11 o'clock we spread down some white blankets and went to bed red chief kept us awake for 3 hours jumping up and reaching for his rifle and screeching in our ears as each crackle of a twig or the rustle of a leaf made him imagine that outlaws were approaching at last i fell into a troubled sleep and dreamed that i had been kidnapped and chained to a tree by a ferocious pirate with red hair just at daybreak i was awakened by awful scream from bill uh-huh. i jumped up to see what the matter was red chief was sitting on the bull's chest holding him by the hair In his other hand he had the sharp knife and he was seriously trying to take Bill's scalp as he had promised the evening before. I got the knife away from the kid and made him lie down again but from that moment Bill's spirit was broke. He lay down on his side of the bed but he never closed an eye again in sleep as long as that boy was with us. I end it all full scene. No one will pay money to get a little imp, imp mean devil like that bag. His parents will, says I. Mountain and log around. Over towards summit. I expected to see a search party, but what I what I saw was a peaceful landscape. Perhaps says I to myself it has not yet been discovered when i got to the cave i found bill backed up against the side of it breathing hard and the boy threatening to smash him with a rock half as big as a coconut he put a red hot boiled potato down my back explained bill and then mashed it with his foot and i hit him i took the rock away from the boy and kind of passed up the argument i'll fix you says the kid to bill by and by bill comes down and says sam you won't go away and leave me here alone will you i went out and caught the boy and shook him until his freckles rattled If you don't behave says I I'll take you straight home now be good I made him and Bill shake hands then I took Bill aside and told him I was going to Popular Cove Popular Cove a trees small inlet a little village 3 miles away to find out what reaction the kidnapping had caused You know Sam says Bill I've stood by you in earthquakes fire floods 
and cyclones. I never lost my nerve. Yet till we kidnap that kid. You won't leave me long with him, will you?